Hello Libra and welcome to your January 2021 reading. Finally leaving 2020 behind. Okay, so I meditated on your energy and what Spirit wanted to talk to you about this month. The first card that I have is the Two of Pentacles. Okay, Two of Pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn. So it was there for a a while now, so you kind of know the feeling of it. Jupiter, the planet of expansion, but at the same time in Capricorn that wants us to funnel and concentrate and be in our power and focus and so on. So if there's somewhere that we are giving up our power, that we are enslaving ourselves and so on, Jupiter is going to enhance that also. So that's what creates those emotional up and down and this disbalance in the flow of the universe here. Just trying to make it. But here, after that, I have the Knight of Swords. So that tells me that whatever was putting you in that position, whether it was financially, emotionally, uh, on any level it is, spiritually, you're getting a truth about it. And then... Here is the Six of Pentacles. And that truth involves giving and receiving. How the balance uh, of, you know, do I sacrifice, have expectations and be disappointed? Do I fulfill myself and only give the overflow and therefore allow myself to receive from the others and their universe their overflow with joy without thinking I will owe anything in return. So under the two of pentacles I have the ace of wand and the ace of wand is a brand new way of doing things, a brand new passion, direction, um, goal that kind of puts it that you understand something about it. I'm sorry for the phone. Uh, it's going to ring two other times. The Ace of Wands, under that I have the Four of Cups. So there, it's almost like this situation is provoked by the fact that, you know, that's what you've experienced all your life. And you have a hard time seeing that cup, seeing that the universe wants to give you more, wants to give you more emotionally, wants to give you more in inspiration, cups is peace, serenity, love, all of these things. Insight. Um, but there's an understanding that happens about that. Under your Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands. So here we have the Ace and the Ten. Your, your juggling came from the fact that you reduced your um, emotional experience in this life. This is what I've lived and this is all there is to me. Blocking the capacity for the universe to give to you. That was your way. Carrying on your shoulders everything you've tried to move forward. But you understand it now. And that understand it come as understanding. During the month you, you're going to get it. Here I have the Hermit, and that is Virgo. Uh, that's the inner truth. That's going within and finding your own inner truth. And there you go. You are going to say, oh my God, this is it. I'm not juggling anymore. I'm going to do things in a completely different way. I know that there is a cup out there for me, so I'm dropping my old baggage. That is going to bring you to Six of Pentacles in a much more balanced dynamic with the universe, with the people around you, and so on. Queen of Sword. It's going to give you a new direction of how you perceive the people around you, and the opportunities, and so on. The reality around you. Here I have the Five of Sword. Not feeling anymore... Um, because the Five of Swords, this is very tricky 
uh, card because it's very active mentally uh, but not to our advantage uh, to the illusion of our advantage but our advantage is when there is harmony with everybody see there's three people on that card like there is three people on that card but on that card somebody's winning is happy and two other people are like feeling like shit on a on a certain level that is not balanced maybe you felt like that with the universe and that's how you perceived it but in this card you have three people and the three people are happy this one is giving not sacrificing and and all of that is giving is overflow with joy and they're receiving with joy he's not expecting them to give it back a month after with 20% interest there no they're taking it because it just um, they know that it's free and from joy so there you go the art of receiving the art of giving this is the art of winning very different so let's clarify this uh, bottom of the deck I have the lovers so the lovers is all about um, being able to make a choice to balance our masculine and our feminine that comes and um, elevates us um, so okay let's let's clarify I call upon the divine I call upon the light I call upon the Holy Spirit help me clarify this reading for Libras for the month of January and this is like the seed that's going to start your year anyway and you're dropping during the month of January you're becoming conscious of something by going within by using your wisdom uh, by listening to the truth of your feminine and your masculine okay Let's look at that Two of Pentacle here. Two of Pentacle. Uh, there we have the Queen of Cups. Emotionally up and down. Emotionally, um, you know, I, I smile out there, but inside I feel awful. Things are unbalanced, unfair. There are people that just want to win around me and I end up paying. Knight of Wands, a, a Nine of Wands, that created this kind of wounded warrior for you. And that's why here that Ace of Wands is going to give you a brand new direction by allowing that cup and that higher emotional experience with life, with others to come into your life. Looking at how you truly feel, noticing that wand, and actually going for it. Let's look at the Knight of Swords. Knight of Wands and Knight of Swords are two of the fastest knights. The other ones are a bit slow. Um, so that tells me that once you're conscious of this, oh, it's gonna go fast for you. And there you are, Libra. Justice. And here I have the Five of Cups. And so that tells me that those three cups here, there was a lot of grieving and loss in them. And that's what was creating that juggling, that emotional juggling here. And it's almost like, you know what? Happiness is there, out there for me. I will drop my old baggage and then I'm just gonna go for being happy rebalancing things because I understand let's look at that six of pentacle ten of pentacle nine of pentacle rebalancing when it comes to family for a lot of you rebalancing when it comes to the empire you built um, here it's almost like um, 
in order for it to be able to be long term and be solid and happy and feel completely independent here in your worth and your value it has to be balanced and this can be karmic also okay let's look at that ace of wands Let's look at the Ace of Wands for Libras. Queen of Wands. Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands. Yes, it's like that inner desire of I want to be happy. I want to have something solid. I don't want to ha have to carry everything on my shoulders and juggle and feel miserable inside. There's more out there and I'm gonna go for it. Four of Cups. I'm not missing opportunities here because I don't believe that it exists because I believe I don't have any power over it. Seven of Swords. Here's the tower. I'm not gonna be robbed of my chance of happiness and fulfillment. I am not letting that happen. I am awakening my Queen of Cups that is telling me exactly what it's all about. Hey Libra, this is how you feel. And my Queen of Wands and hey Libra, this is what we desire. Well here, well, I believe it doesn't exist and this is all that I've had suffering and this is all that it's going to be then you're removing all of your swords or letting somebody do it. Tower, that is crumbling. You can never reach your happiness believing that and thinking that. So the tower, the lightning of the divine has to come and change the way you think for you to be able to rebalance your situation. So, 10 of wands. Ten of Wands, Knight of Swords again. I'm chopping that bunch of wands, <laughs> my shoulders down. I am not carrying my story and my baggage anymore. King of Cups. This is emotional wisdom. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. This is how I feel. And this is how I'm going to act upon it. Hermit. Everything is on the surface, four of wands. A lot of you, it's all about the home dynamic, about even your body, about your capacity to celebrate with others. Uh, Hermit. Okay, making the decision here, I have the two of swords. And here we have our uh, nine of wands, seven of cups. All my wounds, all my hurts, is it something that will kind of put a fog in front of me where I, f I feel my hurts and my pains and everybody's actions around me making me feel, you know, up and down like this? Or... Am I releasing all of this? Becoming wise and experienced. Like the Hermit and the Nine of, of Wands together, this is like an experienced wise person that went through things and knows better now but follows their own spiritual inner truth. Two of Sword. What is my truth? My old way of thinking here? Being completely disempowered into... Uh, what life is about or what is available for me or the new truth that I get by going inside listening to how I feel and opening up a brand new way of doing things now six of pentacle ten of pentacle under that we have our queen of sword three of cups 
and here I have the seven of wands are the others and the people in my life people I have to defend against protect myself against because they hurt me and they will try and screw me or are they people I can celebrate with well if they are in this dynamic of the six of pentacle and the ten of pentacle they are people that I can celebrate with but if I believe five of swords seven of sword and that is my reality then yes I will have to stand my ground and life will be a battle and misery for me and juggling and so on but I think you've done that for a while now now it is time to finish that karma by making that inner decision we attract the people that will mirror how we believe they are and there we go that five of swords we have death that's the end of this the purification of that dynamic to bring the six of pentacle six of pentacle six of pentacle a balance in the exchange with the others and your libra you're all about balanced relationships so this in a way i mean you're the ruler of that house um in a way your connections will be rebalanced by what is happening here and here i have the six of cups by a beautiful heart chakra opening and therefore attracting people that will vibrate there at the six of cups that beautiful again balance giving and receiving emotionally and in pentacles time energy money whatever you know and no more the fives and fives lost sorrow reducing and thinking that that's all my that's all there is people want to win and take advantage and that's the reality either i am wary of people around me on the defensive or I change my way of seeing things, I release my old baggage and I rebalance the situation, allowing myself to receive and to give only from my overflow myself. I am the change. It will appear out there after. So, uh, how do you call that? Because it's going to affect every relationship you have. A bit like uh, Virgo also is doing something similar. Um, it's it's going to be a change in your social network. That's for sure. A change from what you receive from others. Seeing others differently. That's what I'm going to call it. All right? Okay, Libra on this i'm gonna send you all my love and light and thank you for watching sharing commenting uh, subscribing please uh, to help grow the channel uh, if you want a private reading there's an email down below in the plus section you write to me there and i'll write back to you with the information um, i only take my emails once a day so don't expect that two hours after answer um Apart from that, thank you for the ones of you that gave donations. It helps more than you think. And on new moon, full moon, I do a little ceremony to give you back. And on this, have a happy new year, 2021. And I'll see you next month. Namaste.